Mark chapter 10, verse 32. And they were in the way going up to Jerusalem. And you wouldn't think that would be a problem, but that's a problem. Going up to Jerusalem. Jerusalem's on a mountain. So you go up and down the mountain. That's that simple. Find the right glasses. And Jesus went before them. Well, he's leading them. They were amazed. And as they followed, they were afraid. And they're heading closer and closer to, to Jerusalem. And the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the scribes, and the people are in an uproar over him. They don't want Jesus. So Jesus walking in the front of the disciples is he's walking into a problem. And the Gospel of John records one place where right after the you know uh, where Lazarus dies, Jesus was just about to be stoned beforehand. Jesus says, Let us go and I'm like Philip says, Hey, you know, they're gonna stone us. And Jesus says, are there not 12 hours in the day? And they go. Jesus is not afraid. They are. But Jesus already knows what's going to happen. They took again the 12 and began to tell them what things should happen unto him. Saying, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem. We learned her on the way. The Son of Man, a title applied from Daniel, God, shall be delivered to the chief priests, that's the religious. Those are the orders of the Levites set by God. Onto the scribes, those that handle the scriptures. So notice you got the religious and the, the scholars involved with the death of Jesus. Today you have the religious and the scholars in the death of the Bible. They crucify Jesus. And they cut and add and subtract to the word of God. They shall condemn him to death. Now look at him talking third person. Talking about himself. And shall be delivered to the Gentiles. The Romans. And they shall mock him. And they do. Thou should scourge him. They whip him. And they do. He's wearing the crown of thorns. And the Roman purple robe. Never mind what the stupid Hollywood movie. I never watch. And I don't care to watch. And don't want to watch. I'll read my Bible. Thank you very much. And shall spit upon him. And shall kill him. And the third day. He shall rise again in resurrection. So he's talking about the death, burial, and resurrection. And as often as he does, there's always a problem. The mindset of his disciples is always somewhere else. That's why they didn't get it. That's why they were not there three days and three nights when when there was supposed to be the resurrection of Jesus to the empty tomb, because you know what? They weren't paying attention. So he tells them about the gospel. Thirty days I shall rise again, plain and simple. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, come to him, saying, Master, we would that desires for us whatsoever we shall desire. Wait a minute. I just told you what's going to happen to me. I just prophesied the scriptures 
I'm going to die. They're going uh, before I die. They're they're going to suffer rebukingly to me, and from my death, I'm come I'm coming alive three days and three nights. Here, the attitude is Jesus. We got something for you to do for us. Where was James? Where was James and John at the open too? Not too busy worrying about me. And in another place, it says that it's their mother. All three had a pack. And he said unto them, "Look, look how politely he is, because because if you turn Jesus off." What would ye that I should do for you? Okay, what do you want? Never mind what I just said. They said to him, Grant unto us that we may sit, one on thy right hand and the other on thy left hand, in thy glory. This would be the millennium. As the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Jesus said unto you, know not what ye ask. <laughs> We've gone far beyond the subject right now. Can you drink of the cup that I that I yeah, shall you drink of the cup that I drink of? Cup is usually judgment. Not death. Judgment. And be baptized with the baptism that I should be baptized with. There is the death. That cup that Jesus prayed in the garden is not death. It's judgment. James is going to be executed. Acts chapter 12. I know some of you think it's the other James. Da, 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 da. They're going to execute me, Jesus said, and they're going to execute you. John is not executed. John is put to boiling li liquid, left out in the island of Platinum, and he dies and lives out his life. They said unto him, we can. How quick the mouth opens. And Jesus said to him, He shall indeed drink the cup that I drink of. Judgment's going to fall on me. You will be abused. You will be harassed. You will be hated. And with the baptism of mine baptized with all, shall ye be baptized. Now, baptism is to be put into. There's no water there. Don't read water. You can be baptized into death. You put a man in a grave and throw dirt on him. Now, here's an interesting thing in verse 40. But to sit on my right hand and my left hand is not mine to give. So there is a position in the millennium of a seat of authority to the left and to the right of Jesus. And I'm going to assume that it would be Moses and Elijah. David will be a prince. But it shall be given to them whom it is prepared. Moses the law, Elijah the prophets. Moses was with Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration, which is a picture of the second advent. And when the ten heard it, they began to be much displeased with James and John. Who do you think you are? And 
And it just shows again the attitude of the disciples. <laughs> they weren't a happy bunch. But Jesus called them to him, all of the twelve, and said to them, Ye know not, I mean, you know that ye, yeah, ye know that they which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them. So in other words, you know what he's saying is you're talking like a Gentile. It's the Gentile, I'm the king, I'm the ruler, I'm the boss, I'm the... Da Not us Jews. You have God, Jehovah, over you. There's no higher. That was the error of them asking for a king. And their great ones exercise authority over them. They're great ones. They're, they're presidents, they're kings, and whoever. So in the books of history, you have them called Alexander the Great, Ivan the Terrible, you know, the great ones. Comes out of the King James 1611 Bible. But so shall it not be among you, you Jewish people, you Jewish disciples, which one of them is definitely a Gentile, that's the Canaanite. But whosoever will be great among you, you're worried about who's so great. Well, what about the one that's talking to him? You forgot about that. You know, we got a great church. We got a great pastor. What about the great Jesus? I mean, the hymn is called How Great Thou Art, but some of these churches should be How Great We Are. I saw a church name today in something, something Tabernacle. That's Old Testament. Oh, we're not under the law. But why are you naming your church? Shall be your minister. Don't be so quick. To be an authority, Jesus said, be so quick to be a servant. And whosoever of you will be the chiefest, you want to be the head, you want to be the, shall be the servant at all. And we see this great example in the Gospel of John with the foot washing. Here is God who left his throne and he bends down and he starts washing their feet. Now, foot washing is not an ordinance, it is not to be put forth as a Lord's Supper or baptism, but it would be a great a humbling experience in your church. I'm not saying do it, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm not saying it's a ritual. But it stresses to what Jesus is saying. How many pastors out there would humble themselves to wash the, their congregation's feet. For even the Son of Man, Jesus, God, second member of the Trinity, came not to be ministered unto, But to minister, came to seek that which is lost, to give his life a ransom for many, not all. Not everybody gets saved. Many is the proper word because you know what? It's not all. 
broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many shall go, shall, shall fall. Straight is a gate that leads to life, and the few. And it, it comes down to the very teaching of get off your high horse and humble yourself. 